hey, I want to talk to you for just a couple of minutes today about a passage of Scripture, an instance that happens in the New Testament that I think will show you that the good guys will win and do not get discouraged, as we sometimes do, because it seems like the bad guys, so to speak, are winning. Now, what I mean by bad guys is this. I'm talking about it seems like we as Christians try to hold up for God's word. We try to think about the, the laws of God and what God wants us to do in life, the things that God wants us to stand for, while it seems like the majority of people are going against those laws. The majority of people do not want to stand for what God's word has, and, and they do not want to follow anything that has to do with God's word. And it's basically like it's them coming facing us, and we're walking the other direction with the multitude coming against us. Now, before I share with you this instance that I'm talking about that the Lord laid upon my heart, I want to say this. If you ever, as a kid, one of my favorite shows in as a kid growing up was The Lone Ranger. Of course, then I liked the westerns. I liked um, action shows. And what was the common denominator in those two? It was the good guys versus the bad guys. The good versus the evil, or the bad. We'll call it the bad. So it was the good versus the bad. And... Of course, most of us, hopefully, wanted the good guys to win. You know, we wanted the good guys to always come out on top. And, you know, today's world, okay, for example, if you made a movie and uh, let's say you got the two biggest action stars in the movie industry today. Don't know who that'd be because I'm not too up on it, but let's just say you got the two biggest and you put them in the movie together. You say, okay, big draw, right? Well, let's say we told everybody that the movie is entirely with these two people playing checkers the whole movie. Do you think many people would go see that? No. People wouldn't tune in to watch two big stars play checkers for two hours. Why? Because people want to go, they want to see conflict, they want to see the good versus the bad, and they want to see a winner. Well, you know, the other day I was praying going up the road, and I thought about all the bad things. I mean, our newscast here where I live, our local news, it's, it's just constantly bad, okay? It's constantly things that does not promote good godly principles. Now, I understand today that newscasts do have to put out the news, okay? So if it's bad, they got to tell you the bad things. I understand that. I think the part that bothers me the most is it seems like a lot of times the newscasters are happier to tell you the bad stuff than the good stuff. It's almost like they're telling you with a smile because, you know, maybe it's just my imagination. I don't know. But whatever it is, it's just hearing the bad all the time. The things that the people that are against God's ways and God's laws. And, and I was just really sort of praying down about it the other day. A little, I'm not, not really depressed, but I guess I was just praying, why, Lord? Does so many people not want to do the good things of God? The things that the Bible stands for and teaches us to hold to. If everybody did those things, the world would be so much better. The world would be so much better off if people would do the things that the Word of God teaches is right. But then the Lord laid upon my heart something. And it's found in the New Testament. It's found actually in all four Gospels, so I'm just going to refer to one in, in the book of Luke, because Luke specifically names what I'm going to tell you. The Bible tells us about when Jesus was going to be crucified, Pilate knew there was something about Jesus Christ. He knew he was more than a man. He knew that there was something about this man that had been walking the shores of Galilee, and healing the sick and raising the dead. Pilate knew there was something special about this man. So he did not want it on his hands. So what Pilate did was Pilate said, listen, it's our custom that we can release one prisoner before the feast of the Passover. So he had them bring out Jesus, beaten, downtrodden, bloodied. And then he also had them bring out another prisoner. You know him better as Barabbas. The Bible tells us Barabbas was one of the worst criminals in that area at that time. Barabbas had been put in jail or their prison system for leading a revolt and committing murder. He was a bad, bad man. 
So here you had Pilate who was wanting, wanting them to pick Jesus, and he knew they would pick Jesus. He had Jesus standing on one side, Barabbas standing on the other. The multitude was out in front. The multitude probably had several people in the multitude, maybe many of the multitude that had been when Jesus had healed the sick and raised the dead. Maybe they had seen him uh, bring back sight to the blind. Maybe they had been there when he fed the multitude with the loaves and fishes. Pilate was counting on this. And Pilate knew, he thought he did, that they would pick Jesus. You had good versus bad. You had the good guy versus the bad guy. So Pilate said, we'll release one of them. But this whole multitude cried out, Give us Barabbas. Give us Barabbas. I think Pilate was shocked. And I believe Barabbas was shocked. The multitude cried out. Here you had a man that had healed the sick, raised the dead, that had, had, had been for all the goodness throughout the land. He hadn't done no wrong to no one. Then you had a murderer. And the crowd said, give us him. The Lord laid that passage upon my heart the other day going up the highway. And it was like he impressed upon me this thought. All down through time, the majority has always chose the ways that were not God's ways. They had chose the bad. They chose the evil. So he said, you get the good things of God, and then you've got godless. And the majority chose godless. And the Lord laid that upon my heart, and I thought, you know, it's been that way all down through the ages. So today, this day and time in which we're living is no different than any other time. So it should give you a little encouragement. And I'm going to tell you one of the biggest reasons why right now. They chose Barabbas. They chose the bad guy. Barabbas is done dead and gone. And he left this scene 2,000 years ago. But the one that they rejected, he's still alive and well. That's the one you serve. You are on the winning side. You chose the good guy. So don't feel discouraged. And when you see these people that don't hold to the things of God, let's pray for them. Let's pray for them that they will see. Maybe they'll see something in me or you that points them to him. And we can be a light for Jesus Christ. So don't be discouraged. Because they've been choosing the bad guy all down through the years. But as I said, Barabbas, Barabbas is done gone. But Jesus said, behold, I am alive forevermore. That ought to be encouraging for you today. Hope you know him today, and if you don't, you sure can. He is here if you will call on him. And this is a day and hour where he's right there for each and every one of you. Lord bless you today. I hope you enjoy this. Please like and subscribe if you're new to this channel. Uh, if you're not new, then please share it. Leave a comment below. Let me know that you're enjoying these videos because we want to try to do things to help our walk with Jesus Christ. As this, this, is, a, this is a different kind of time period. This has been a 2020 like no other. Since I've been alive, uh, there's been no other year like this. But you know what? Jesus Christ is still just as real in this year. So like and subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. And I tell you what I'm going to do on my next video, teaching video. I'm going to talk about Barabbas. Again, a little bit more. Not very much, just a little. But I want to tell you something about Barabbas that we're talking about today that you probably didn't know, but it's got a catch to it. So hit the bell. That way you'll know it as soon as we upload it. And it shows the power of God. God loves you, God bless you, and we will catch you on the next video.